But what we really want to know is what the hell is an old man like you doing going on? Hey, this is John Amos and Casey Amos' son, uh, the filmmaker, and we're letting you know that a good tip would be to get tuned in to Night and Day Network with the Curry Gang on YouTube and watch their animated series. Pardon the background noise. I'm in Jamaica and there's some noise going on in the background, but all is well. Straight ahead and best of luck to you. Previously on Hood Time. Ray Ray? What's wrong, man? It's in the middle of the night. You alright? Yeah, bro. I just need a favor. What? I need a place to stay for tonight. Me and my pops had a disagreement and... He ended up kicking you out on the street, huh? Now you're in front of my door in the middle of the night looking like a skinny lost puppy who haven't eaten in days. Am I right? I ran into Bobby O not too long ago. Oh, for real? Yeah, man. He was whipping that new side thing. He said he had some work for me. I'm thinking about taking him up on his offer. So, Ray Ray, it's a couple ground rules I gotta break down before you get on board. What's up, Bobby? Well, first I gotta introduce you to the players and the territories. Okay, well, break it down. So we control uptown and northeast side of Deville. The locals control the west and the Italians the south. No one is allowed to work in a territory that ain't theirs. You know what I'm saying, Ray Ray? Here goes the product. Whoa, man. Look like I got enough bricks to build a whole stadium. Well, well, well. What can I say? The hell? Is that a baby out here? Good God, it is a baby. Hey, Stu. It'll be all right, baby. What type of monster would do this anyway? Hey, sucker! You didn't think you'd get away that easy, did you? Team! Come on, team, man! I thought we were cool! Don't do this, team! Let's milk this fool! Yes, this is Mrs. Bevins, Milton's mother. He what? What? Oh, no! What is it, Mama? We have to go. I have to call Rames. I have to call your father. What? What happened, Ma? Who was that on the phone? It was the Deville police. They were Milton down at the station. What? They say he witnessed the murder. A murder? We have to hurry up and get going so we can catch the next bus. That, that, that won't be necessary, Ma. I can take us. You can take us? How? What, you gonna run us down there on your back, Mr. A? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking we all gonna hop on your back. And you can fly us down there, you peasy headed pterodactyl. Or in your case, pterodactyl. <laughs> You two knock it off. This is definitely not the time. Now, Ray Ray, you can tell me on the way down to the station whose car you're driving, and it better not be stolen. It better not, because we're going to be riding straight to the station and then right into a jail cell. In your case, the dog pound. <laughs> Shut up, Ray Ray. 
Two weeks to really do again, Bevin. Two weeks. Don't be late. Shut, Shut up, up, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Hey, Brooklyn. <laughs> Judging by the size of your massive stomach, it also looked like in two weeks your baby is due, sucker. <laughs> Hello, Milton. I'm Detective Harris, and this here is Detective Myers. We need to ask you a few questions about a shooting. I know it's hard, Milton, but a man was murdered today, and you're the only eyewitness we have. Can you help us, Milton? Look, kid, I know it's tough, but he had a family just like you and me. A brother, a mother, a father. We need something. Anything that'll help us catch the guys who did this. Myers, would you excuse us for a second? How you doing, officer? I'm Flora Bevins. Milton's mother? I just received a call that he was down here. Yes, Miss Bevins. I'm going to ask you to go wait by the seating area. Someone will be with you shortly. Oh, you know what shortly mean in a place like this. Yeah, that means about time we see someone, it'll be the equivalent of three consecutive life sentences. Rames! Hey, baby, I came as soon as I can. Now, where they got our boy? Hey, Daddy. Hey, baby girl. Junior. Dad. Oh, my God. Is that you, the hero trash man? <laughs> Rains Bevins, right? <laughs> That's me. Can I take a picture with you? <laughs> sure, sweetheart. Why not? Great. Excuse me. You mind taking this pic for me? Sure. Awesome. Wait, what's going on here? You haven't turned on the TV lately, have you? Huh? No, why? Your father's a hero. What? A hero? Yeah, Dum Dum, a hero. He saved the baby that was thrown in the dumpster and left for dead this morning. A baby in a dumpster? That's sick. Who in the heck would do something like that? A monster. But lucky your father was there to save her. You're lucky to have a father like that. Bye, Mr. Bevins. And thank you. Bye. <laughs> What else did I miss when I was gone? Milton witnessed the murder? Dad pulling babies out of the trash can? Selma eating out of the trash can? That's ironic, cause that's where mine dad found your crusty dusty behind. And they found you in the wild, chasing down antelope and zebra, Teen Wolf. Ah, Would you two give it a rest? Hey, Myers. What? Whoa, whoa. You might want to relax there, pal. The Bevins are here for that kid you brought in earlier. Where? Standing right over there. Bevins family? Hi, I'm Detective Myers, Homicide Division. Please come with me so we can talk more privately. Detective Myers, where is my son? Don't worry, he's safe. He's in the interrogation room with my partner. Hey, man, why are you in the interrogation room? Ain't like he did anything. Yeah, you right, Daddy. Yeah. Hey, hey, relax. That's standard procedure to question an eyewitness in the interrogation room for his safety. Hey, aren't you that trash man that pulled that baby out the dumpster earlier? Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Okay, cool. Milton, you okay? Hey, man, why well, look like he was crying? What the hell y'all do to my boy? Hey, I'm assuming you're Mr. Bevins, Milton's father. Yeah, but you still ain't answer my question, though. Mr. Bevins, your boy is in shock. In fact, he haven't said a word since he got here. We was only able to identify him because one of the officers noticed him from the protest earlier this week. Oh no, Milton. 
What does that mean? Shot? You mean like PTSD? I mean, he did witness a murder right in front of him. When the officers got on the scene, Milton was still on the ground, balled up and shaking. He was terrified. This is terrible. So now what? Well, all we can do is let him go. You take him home and give us a call when he slaps out of it. Hey, take my card. Mr. Bevins, if the problem gets any worse, you might want to think about taking him to see a shrink. A shrink? Man, we're a low-income family. Ain't nobody got no money for that. Sorry. Ooh, I got an idea where we can get the money, Dad. We can hit some over the head, knock her unconscious, and sell her kidneys. <laughs> And I have an idea how to get money, too. We can knock Ray Ray over the head and sell his brain. But wait, that wouldn't work because he don't have one. <laughs> See, that's where you're wrong, little sis. If they was to sell this fine specimen known as my brain, it would change modern science as we know it. In fact, it'd take nine Einsteins to equal to my one brain because it's so dynamite. <laughs> Now, how are we all going to fit to that car to get home? My co-worker Stu bought me here in his minivan. There he is. See, he's still out here waiting. We can catch a ride with him. And what car are you talking about? Apparently, Ray Ray has a friend that loaned him this nice car. Not just any car, a Jaguar. A Jaguar? Let me see this. A Jaguar XJ? What year is this, Junior? 2016? 17? 2015, I think. What type of friend is this to let you borrow a $60,000 car, Junior? You sure it ain't hot? Because that would be the stupidest thing you've ever done thus far. Drive a stolen car down to a police station. That's what I said. It ain't stolen, Dad. The guy has money to buy it. It's legit. How you know that for sure? I thought me and your mama raised you better than this, Junior. Okay, I had enough. This is not the place or time. Don't you two think our family had been through enough? It ain't me, Ma. It's Mr. Hero over here. The hell with you, Junior. The hell with you, Dad. Boy, I oughta knock you. Reigns, please stop. Don't. Now, Ray Ray, you know better than to talk to your father like this. I don't have a father. Thing in the same old star, same old bling in the same old car, same old fame in the same old bra, same old lady. Who is that? Oh, you finally decided to get your behind up to come to work, huh? Hope you ain't leave my house a mess, fool. Hey, yo, bring it back from the top, Z. I told you I had you, man. Your crib is cool, aside from that hole I accidentally put in your wall. What? I'm just joking, man. Relax, Geronimo Brat. Boy, I was about to say, you put a hole in my wall, I would have put a hole in your behind. <laughs> All right, Z, let's take a break. But for real though, Riz, who is that? She is gorgeous. She not interested. I ain't asked you all that. I just asked who she was. What y'all talking about? And who's this? Well, well, well. Let me introduce myself. I'm Ray Ray the Ghost. And you are? Well, well, well. Nice to meet you, Mr. Ghost. And I'm Rosita. You know what? Y'all both crazy. I'ma go grab something to eat. Y'all want anything? Just the water. I'm cool. I got all I need right here. <laughs> Man, you simple-minded. <laughs> so where are you from, Rosita? Because I definitely never seen you around here. I'm originally from Beverlyville, but I came out here to pursue my career. Beverlyville? Oh, you must got that guacamole, huh? Guacamole? Why, because I'm Latina? You think I like guacamole? Oh, nah. What you think? I sit around all day eating guacamole and salsa and dancing the merengue? 
Nah, I didn't mean it like that. I meant... I know, stupid. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> okay, you gorgeous. You can sing. You got jokes, huh? Okay, Jenny from the block. <laughs> oh, you got jokes too, huh? Very funny. But to answer your question, no. My family has the guacamole, and me, I'm here on my own just trying to make it. Same here. Looks like we both in the same boat. Except my family don't even have guacamole. In fact, they wouldn't even be able to afford actual guacamole. <laughs> What do you do? Rap, sing, dance, juggle, make balloon animals? Oh, you trying to indirectly call me a clown, huh? If the big red shoe spit. What? I'm just messing with you. Check your blood pressure before you have a stroke, Poppy. Oh, you a wild girl. But I rap, I do a little graffiti, and I paint here and there. Oh, you tag? Oh, most definitely. I mean, I dabble a little bit. That's bomb, yo. My brother was ill at that. Oh, for real? How old is he? He would have been 26 this August, but... I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You didn't know. What happened? Got involved with the wrong people. In the course team. Hey, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Wait, what time is it? It's a quarter to three, why? Oh, shoot. I got to go. I got to pick up my nephew from the babysitter. Tell Riz I might have to continue our session tomorrow. Oh, all right. I got you. Well, it was nice to meet you, Ray Ray. It was nice to meet you. See you around, Poppy. You definitely will, mommy. Stupid. <laughs> Where's he go? You scared her off, didn't you? Nah, she said she had to go pick up her nephew. She'll be back to finish the session tomorrow. Oh, all right. I see you're almost ready to record that heat. Yup, just about. Well, let me hear what you got so far. Y'all know me, name is Ray Ray. I was raised in the projects. Hood times with some good times. Surviving is the mindset. Sling a dope for working nine to five. Either way, your brother on his job. Till we finally get a piece of the pie. That cheese and a bread like piece of the pie. Stick up, boys, how you reach for the sky. Somebody got shot by police and he died. Ain't no love in the ghetto, ain't no love in the streets, ain't no love in the game. Brothers dying, mothers crying, just trying to cope with the pain. Brothers selling, snitches selling, brothers on life in the bang. They really got us boxed in, all we wanted to do was make it out. Mama saying them prayers for us, to keep the faith and find peace in God, cuz. Yeah, man. That thing's tight. It's time to start laying that thing down. Well, let's get down with the get down. <laughs> Is it done or is it finished? That fool won't be saying nothing to no one. And Tone never find out. Good. We just to tell Tone the Kings moved in on our territory and took a couple of our guys out. We got one more loose end to tie up though. How about the other guys? You think they keep their mouth shut or we're gonna have to take care of them too? They sure will, oh. They riding with us till the wheels fall off. As long as we keep them fed. Good, good. Because if word gets out that we was behind starting this war, we all dead. What? Oh, he is? Oh, send him in. He cool. Who that? It's d finest, Detective Harris. What that pig want? I guess we about to find out. Gus, what's up, man? Surprised to see you here. Cut the BS, Bobby. You guys have a problem. A problem? What you mean? The guy you knocked off this morning? Yeah, what about him? It was handled, right, T? Of course, oh. 
I left that sucker leaking in the alleyway. Oh, that's not the problem. It's the witness you left alive. What witness? You didn't see the kid there? What kid? This is real sloppy work, Bobby. You ain't paying me enough to cover up stupidity, and I appreciate you giving me the heads up before you make moves like this. But you have to cover your tracks, or this relationship will be cut. Aye, right, Gus. Just relax. I'll handle it. What's the kid's name and where can I find him? Yo, T. What's up, bro? Load up the gats and get the car ready. We from the gutter, I didn't stutter, let's get that butter Love one another, we fathers, brothers, sisters and mothers In the struggle, with daily troubles, we trying to eat Don't let it bug you, just up your hustle and keep your peace Hood Times was recorded on a mobile device and sent to an online audience Message when you reflect it, so know your part The game will trap you and try to crack you and have you locked